This is showing the new Synergy Vision platform with the Panoscope. At the touch of a finger, we can move between our typical 30-degree angle of viewing to 70-degree viewing, and then to a wide-angle view that gives you sort of a panorama view of the joint. So this is just your typical 30-degree, and I'll just kind of run through it from the notch and the lateral portal. Good view of the ACL, looking down at the anterior horn of the medial meniscus, coming back to the back. And then that same view, if we come just moving to the panoramic view, we have you know a much broader angle. Now, if you, you look up at the front, you not only see the ACL insertion, the whole anterior horn of the medial meniscus, and coming around to look up the gutter from here, which is always a very hard view, switch to the 70-degree view and easy from the medial side to see all the way up the medial gutter. And so if I just look at the notch and take it through these, you know, back at the usual 30 and then to this panoramic view, you can really get a good feel for the whole joint. Great view of the whole lateral meniscus, the root, the ACL insertion, all those things we'd have to struggle to get around with just your typical 30 degree scope. Seven degree scope, where I found it. Just great. Looking at the PCL insertion, you know, very difficult view to see. This is where it would have been at the 30 and 45. You get back to the 70, pretty easy to see all the way down the back of the tibia. Come into the root area at 70. Not such a great view. Go to 30, our typical view. Go to 45. See all the way around this poster medial corner. So again, just views you're not used to seeing with the touch of a finger. If we're looking up at the front of the knee, we'll go to the pano view, looking down. And here actually we see the anterior horn lateral meniscus, intermeniscal ligament coming around, anterior horn of the medial meniscus, and the a ACL insertion. Um, and, and this view will be particularly great when we're doing a meniscal transplants combined with, with an ACL where this territory here, there's not much room between everything we do. And honestly, this is the best view I've ever seen of that, you know, to start with the plan where the tunnels of these two are going to be without intersecting with each other. So I've sort of prepared this like I'd be doing a repair from a proximal avulsion. And so we'll sort of go through, this is looking down at 70 30, and then this is the panoramic view or the, you know, 140 degree angle, wide angle of view. So I have our six to nine guide in through the interlateral pore, and this is a very difficult place to see and position your guide pin for passing, you know, your button part of your repair and tightrope later. And so when I'm looking back to the left, this is a view, honestly, as much of this as I do, I've probably never seen with this wide angle view. Here's the lateral wall and back, there's over the top in the back, there's lateral meniscus below and the posterior compartment. So like I said, this as much of this as I do, this is a view I've really never seen before. So I'm going to be very confident with this view that I am repairing back to an anatomic location, which is one of the most difficult parts of a repair when you're working around an ACL in the notch. This wide, wide angle sort of panoramic view just cleaning out the notch. And, you know, when you're allowing trainees to do this, you worry about them injuring the root of the lateral meniscus. And this this wide angle or panoramic view is just incredible. I can see it perfectly. I can see the sidewall perfectly. And, you know, you can tell I've already debrided uh, the ACL stump out of here. So for viewing through the anterolateral portal, our typical lateral wall view where you have to push up against the wall if I go to the wide angle, it just immediately comes into view and gives me a much better depth perception. I don't feel like I'm working down a sheet of paper or something. And so the depth perception, I don't know if you can notice it here, but from 30, you know, for me to get to that back wall, I kind of have to come in, move my hand over to angle at it. In the wide angle view, it just puts it all in view right there, even keeping the articular cartilage in my field of view, which I think will make it safer. We're still in that panoramic view. If I come to the root, you know, from a teaching standpoint at 70, I get a pretty good look at this root. And when the root is truly off at the root, 
you can see this insertion so good here that the insertion is way up here. Okay. And so it's not often an area you see, you know, knee figure four trying to look to the back through a 30 degree scope. And so I think a lot of root repairs that I've seen in this country are done with their drill tunnels back here when they actually need to be, you know, much more anterior if we want to recreate the, you know, normal push to root attachment. So this view, both going from 70, really even at 30, but the panoramic view for sure, you can see that, that th this area for repair, you know, isn't here, it's way up here. So we're sort of taking out a PCL like we would be doing in a multi-league knee. You're going to do, you know, the bicruciate reconstruction at the same time. You know, I'm looking away from that. I'm viewing from the interlateral portal straight over. This is the 30 degree view. If I go to the wide angle view again, it just brings the whole condyle into focus. So now I'm looking down. And let's go to the 70 degree view. And so this is just with the straight shaver debriding. You can see the PCL tibial stump here. We can go down, you know, beside it and see all the way down right over at the posterior medial edge of the me medial meniscus. So th this view right now is a 70 degree view. I couldn't get without switching out scopes and switching out everything. You know, the wide angle view gives us sort of poster horn, medial meniscus, lateral meniscus and PCL stump right there. And I'm already looking in this poster medial ramp sort of area where I'll be putting a cannula to work back here. Just, you know, putting in the po poster medial portal with this panoramic or wide angle view here. And again, you're just seeing this posterior pouch, you know, poster medial corner with a much bigger view than you normally would get. And can come in immediately switch back to my 70 degree view that now takes me right down into the the PCL footprint now viewing the nano can be you know is obviously hooked into the same console and then projected on the same screen that so we can work back and forth from front to back now I'm actually looking at the nano looking at what I want to see down here in the back now we're looking with the nano through the back at the PCL sort of fossa and the residual of the tibial stump. My view from the scope in the front is looking back at the nano, looking at the stump of the PCL, which is kind of weird. You can see the nano come in now. But again, you'll see when we clean this out, this will be a view of the back of the tibia that you don't get to see much for drilling. You know, without having to change out scopes or anything else, I go immediately to a 70 and can work all the way down, you know, to breed the rest of the PCL stump. So here's our insertion here. Here's where we'll want to put our PCL guide. So again, I'm preparing the footprint so that when I bring my flip cutter in, I'm not going to have all this soft tissue around it. But you can see I'm all the way down the back of the tibia. This is the most inferior part of the PCL insertion right here. And from the interlateral portal, I have a perfect view of this, both with 45 and with the 70 degree scope. So when I bring my guides through, I know it exactly where I am. And for me doing a PCL, this view always has to happen through the poster medial portal for me. Just can't get this view. Even with the 70 degree, I don't think I see this. I think the the ability to widen the angle just gives you this perspective. And that's the root of the lateral meniscus looking down root of the medial meniscus. And you can see anatomically how that PCL insertion on the tibia is a little medial of center. And that's where the tunnels for reconstruction have to go. So you have to sort of orient yourself to the nano view coming from the back looking forward. So to the left is the posterior part of the tibia. Okay, so that's uh, down. This is the footprint of the PCL that we're looking at right here. And then the, you know, the posterior capsule is to the right. So coming in through the medial portal now, if you look at the nano, you'll see my tibial guide for the PCL come into play on the nano. And when I get to that view, 
automatically I just quit looking away. If I look at my panoramic views through the anterior part, you see a beautiful view and go to 70, look how much you can see coming all the way down. You know, and th this view is good enough. I probably wouldn't get out the sea arm if I was seeing this good and in every case probably. And then you look at the nano view on the other side and you just confirm, you know, lo looking the opposite direction that you're indeed sitting down there at the PCL insertion where we're going to put our socket to do our PCL reconstructions.